Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. You are watching News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, keeping you updated with what's going on into the Mid-South area and beyond. For tonight, we are going to be seeing the possibility of some stronger storms across the Mid-South area. We've not had any watches or any signs of them being issued just yet, and we have been watching from the Storm Prediction Center to see if there's anything going on out there just yet. But as of about just past 8 o'clock on Saturday night. It's just been rainfall and that's it. Could be some breezy winds overnight. Definitely the possibility of maybe some uh, rainfall with including some lightning out there with some thunderstorms coming our way as we get into the rest of the evening. So that could be an issue. But so far, things are pretty quiet. Here's hoping they stay that way. Just enough energy to get the atmosphere, again, a little bit more active, but not enough for a major severe weather outbreak. Very possible at this time of the year, so something, again, to keep an eye on, and we'll be doing just that here at News Channel 3. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. We stick around to give you an idea as to what's going on with the forecast. You can ask questions, drop them into the comments section below. You can also, again, keep an eye on what's going on with the weather. All you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather, or keep an eye on the blue bar beneath me here. Again, you can see the forecast scrolling on by, or you can go to all of our social media pages and catch up with the forecast there, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on. Drop your location into the comments section, and if you've got a weather report, let's see what's going on in your neck of the woods. Rainfall amounts, wind speed, temperature, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use, and let's see what's going on where you are. Doesn't matter if you're checking in from the Mid-South or not. If you're from outside the area, we cover North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas. And we'll be watching that area specifically for what's going on with the potential for severe weather into the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the evening. So stick around for more. If you want some cooler temperatures, those are on the way but not exactly seeing any winter weather as we get into the rest of the evening. So stick around again for that forecast, and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the evening for right now. Currently in the Mid-South, it's warm, it's windy, and it's going to stay that way into overnight. Matter of fact, we will be looking for the potential of some winds gusting well over 20 miles per hour, maybe even 30 to 35 miles per hour with these storms as they make their way on through the area. So temperatures pretty stable, dropping a little bit back to the upper 50s to lower 60s, but those chances of showers and thunderstorms will remain across the area as we get into the rest of the evening. So the umbrella is going to be necessary into tomorrow morning, heading off to church or Sunday school for some of the last church services of the year in the early morning hours of Sunday. Allow for some extra time. You're going to need them out there as we get into tomorrow. So again, seeing that possibility of showers and thunderstorms out there across the area and looking again at the possibility of temperatures only back in the upper 50s. Keep in mind that at this time of the year, that is way above our normal high temperature, which is only about the lower 50s or so, so very much on the mild side into overnight. We'll gain a few degrees into tomorrow as we see temperatures going back into about uh, the mid-60s or so, and then also getting, again, the potential for some more showers and thunderstorms off and on, but we'll walk you through all of that timing coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned again for more on that. Welcome to everybody uh, checking in for the Mid-South area and points beyond. Glad to have you here for the evening hours. High temperature today came within three degrees of a record high temperature. 71 was the official high at the Memphis International Airport recording site. Last time it was this warm, close to being this warm, it was 1984. And normal high temperature, again, is about 50 degrees. So you can see the big temperature difference going on here. 58, our low temperature, which might go down as a very warm low temperature because our record low hasn't been broken since 1894 on this date, and that was five above zero. Normally, we should be at 33. According to the National Weather Service, if we get a couple more inches of rainfall, this year will go down as the third wettest for the entire Mid-South in recorded history. So we are looking at a very huge amount of rainfall for this time of the year all the way on through. And again, possibility of winding up with a top five record amount of rainfall out there. Traveling for tonight, good news again for air travelers at Memphis International. Showers, yes. Travel problems, no. We're not getting anything in the way of delays at this time, so definitely, again, some good opportunities, again, for rainfall, but not slowing anything down uh, into and around the area for right now. John Michael, do we have a weather radio at News Channel 3? 
yes, we do, and we keep it down here uh, with fresh batteries all the time just to make certain we have that extra information. We also have our amateur radio rig where we listen in uh, from the National Weather Service on their frequency. Uh, for National Weather Service emergency weather radio, contacts at WX4MEM when it becomes necessary. Good question. Thanks for asking that one at this time. Uh, James R. Davis, time to get the GoPro ready to go to chase some storms. Only chase storms if you have been trained by experts. Again, that is something you really need to take into account for safety's sake out there. I've seen a lot of people get in trouble for not knowing what to do, so please use caution out there with anything for right now. Uh, John Michael, Missouri Foothill, do we cover that? Technically, no, that's just outside of our area, but thank you for asking. Grady Bennett, will spotter activation be needed by Memphis overnight? It's possible, but not likely at this time, so we'll be watching to see what the National Weather Service has to say about that, so stay tuned for more there. Do have, again, some slowdowns taking place, I should mention, again, into and around parts of the country. Denver was seeing some slowdowns earlier. That appears to have abated right now, and also Chicago seeing some slowdowns earlier. That also is dropped by the wayside. Dallas-Fort Worth improving, had some gate issues and some volume of travelers coming on through. So again, we're not seeing too many major problems out there. And again, no delays showing up for Memphis International. Wet roadways across portions of the Mid-South as we see that drizzle and the rainfall continue into and around the area for tonight. So a little bit of extra time, a lot less speed on the roadways would be a very good idea to avoid any long, boring conversations with your insurance agent over the next few days. Storm system on the way. And again, drawing in a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. We are seeing again and watching very carefully this squall line developing back to areas just south of I-70 all the way down to the Red River around Texarkana. Anything that forms in advance of this line, that's where the best possibility will be of anything severe. But right now, at least as of again about just past 8 o'clock, there doesn't appear to be a lot going on. Again, hopefully it stays that way. Heading north of, say, I-80, you're going to be seeing a lot of problems with winter weather from parts of Nebraska, Denver, all the way back to the western Great Lakes. Blizzard conditions, looking at, again, a lot of rainfall changing over to snow. Freezing rain, parts of Minnesota iced over from all that very warm, moist air riding up over the top of that cold air. So if you're heading that direction, the station on your side wants you to know, again, let's be careful if you are going to be traveling in these locations. We have what's left of a tornado watch box. Now, News Channel 3 viewing area here east Arkansas, west Tennessee, north Mississippi, and there is still a tornado watch into southern Arkansas, or east western Arkansas, southwestern Missouri, and back into extreme eastern Oklahoma. That's in effect until about 10 o'clock tonight, and this is about maybe a third of the size of what it was. So good news that we're not seeing any reissuance out there, and the Storm Prediction Center which issues these watches usually keeps an eye out in their mesoscale discussions to see if there's anything going on in advance of that. And as of right now, we've heard nothing from them in the last couple of hours. So, so far for our viewing area and points just west, we have no indication of a new watch being issued. We'll continue to monitor that as that front gets a little bit closer to us. Mainly just rainfall across much of the area, and that's going to be sticking around throughout the much of the area for the evening hours. Again, across much of the area, we've got plenty of showers, so that's wet roadways. That's going to lead to some very sloppy travel out there, so definitely want to slow it down, allow for a lot of extra time to get to where you're going. But so far, not seeing anything in the way of stormy weather for the Mid-South. No watches, no warnings. No indication of anything coming our way for now, but again, let's keep an eye on that, and we'll do that here at News Channel 3. Very breezy across the Mid-South and very mild temperatures back into the mid-60s. Some of the uh, reports coming in from the area showing, again, temperatures in the 50s and 60s into the comments section. Uh, John Mulliken, good to see you on here from the Pink Palace Museum. Miss you guys over there. Hope everything's going well. Uh, in the education department, so thanks a lot for checking in for tonight. And could be, again, some pretty mild conditions into early tomorrow morning out there for right now, but we will be seeing the possibility of some pretty mild conditions overnight. Now, there will be these occasional flare-ups. You're going to be seeing, again, the more intense rainfall in the yellow and orange-shaded colors as we go from about News Channel 3 at 10. And then that main line gets here as we go into about midnight, just to the west of the Mississippi River, crossing the river overnight into just before daybreak, and then finally heading out of the picture 
as we get into about the early to mid-morning hours of Sunday across much of the area. But watch the area down here in southern Arkansas as we have another resurgence of some rain and, again, some possible thunderstorms mixed in with there. Now, so far, it appears the best possibility of severe weather, we'll talk about that in a minute, will be ahead of us and leaving the area by about this time tomorrow morning. But, again, something to pay attention to as we go throughout the rest of the evening hours and especially into tomorrow. So if you're heading back from the holidays a little early, uh, getting a good jump on travel out there and heading back before New Year's. This is what you're going to have to be dealing with tomorrow. So any of your travel plans out there involving the roadways or getting to the airport want to allow for a lot of extra time to make certain you are rush not rushing around out there throughout the rest of the evening. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for today. And again, welcome to the show. Glad to see you're checking in. Monica Russell, seasonally warm in Youngstown, Ohio. Snow is coming. That's all part of that uh, same storm system out there. So that's going to be coming on through. Uh, much of what we're going to be seeing again with that storm system got to be the colder air back to our north. Not that much going on uh, into the area right now when it comes to winter weather. Sandra Torres, rain in Ripley, Mississippi. Uh, thank you very much for that one. Druzy Fluellen, when will the cold weather come in from Coldwater, Mississippi? Uh, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. And rainy all day in Evansville, Indiana, James Shaw. Welcome to the show from just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area. Rest of the evening tomorrow, more chances of showers, but then drier weather comes in by Sunday night. Could be some lingering showers in the area toward about midnight on Monday, and that's going to be about it. Good news, the Storm Prediction Center has taken the slight risk category, the higher slight risk category, out of the forecast from the latest update that we had just a couple of hours ago. Bad news, unfortunately, we still have a sliver of the Mid-South in that threat, marginal threat, lowest threat you can get, again, for the potential of severe weather, but it is out there for right now. And again, seeing that making its way toward us late tonight into very early tomorrow morning, and then we start to see that threat crossing the river and heading out of the picture as we go into late tomorrow morning, making its way back toward the east of us. And as of right now, it appears to be just a marginal threat, meaning it's a potential out there but not seeing, again, anything in the way of a huge severe weather outbreak, so that's good news. And that encompasses the entire Mid-South area. Early tonight, back to the west of the Mississippi, crossing the Mississippi overnight for areas east of the Mississippi as we go into Sunday morning. So if you're around eastern Arkansas, west Tennessee, and northern Mississippi, you do have that marginal threat of severe weather moving from west to east overnight. It's not huge. It's not, again, going to be a powerful, say, early spring type system that you get out in the Plain States. But again, we do need to pay attention to what's going on. Gusty damaging winds, the main threat, followed by very heavy rainfall. So we could be looking at some flooding going our direction into tomorrow before everything clears on out of here going into and around Monday. So please use caution tomorrow morning, especially with heavy rainfall out there. Visibility will be much lower. And again, the spray on the roadways could cause hydroplaning if you go too fast. We'll have updates on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the evening into tomorrow. Again, some very mild conditions out there. Chances of showers and thunderstorms about any time during the day, but not seeing anything in the way of severe weather as the system ends and moves out of the picture going into late tomorrow morning and then just rain and some rumbles of thunder as the temperatures begins to drop by just a little bit. Back closer to normal on Monday, back to sunshine. Again, there could be some sprinkles out there early on Monday morning, just past midnight, but the rest of the day looks pretty nice as we go into the end of the year. New Year's Eve during the day, chilly, just below normal, but plenty of sunshine out there and should be seeing mostly clear skies into and around the forecast for overnight. We'll take a look at the New Year's Eve forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Rest of the forecast through the early part of 2020, looking at numbers a little bit warmer than normal and clearing out early on from, again, Monday into Tuesday. Clouds come back into and around the area for about the early morning hours of Wednesday, seeing cloud cover and then rainfall chances in the evening on Wednesday for the first day of the year. Thursday into early Friday, more chances of showers out there, but just showers 
Not seeing anything in the way of severe weather into and around the area for right now. And then going into the first full weekend of 2020, numbers again pretty pleasant. A lot of sunshine out there, so we'll get rid of the rainfall, and that's going to be about it. Much cooler as we go toward the second week, the first full week of January. We should be seeing some temperatures back in the lower to mid-40s. Now again, for right now, we do see again some chilly numbers coming on through. These numbers at the beginning of the first full week of January, this is where, again, we try to walk that middle ground between what the forecast models are showing us. Some are showing a little bit milder temperatures. Some are showing a deep Arctic plunge coming our way. And as of right now, that's the middle ground for the time being. So by the early part of next week, not the upcoming week, but the first full week of January, we could be looking at a lot colder temperatures heading our direction as we go into around the first full week of January. Keep it tuned to the weather experts, and again, we'll keep you updated on that. And as always, you can check out more on our seven-day forecast as well. Heading out for New Year's Eve, this is what it looks like for Memphis and the rest of the Mid-South area as we close out 2019 and head into 2020. It is going to be brisk. The sunset hours of Tuesday will be back in the mid to lower 40s at best. So temperatures dropping off after sunset and just a few clouds out there for right now. By the time we hit the change of the year and the decade, temperatures will be back into about the mid-30s. So already pretty chilly out there, but you won't need the ice scraper. You won't need the umbrella or the snow shovel either, as we have seen on several other New Year's Eves. And by the time the parties wrap up and we start to head into the first uh, full day of 2020, Temperatures will be back in the lower 30s as we hit sunrise early on uh, Wednesday morning. So again, New Year's Day will start off with a chilly note, but at least it'll be dry across much of the area. So decently pretty quiet out there for now. But after that, into Wednesday during the evening and Thursday, that's where the rainfall returns. So parties, again, going to and from the festivities out there. Doesn't seem like too much of a problem, so good news on that from what it looks like right now. All right, one more check of the forecast as we go into the rest of the evening and overnight. Temperatures back in the upper 50s to lower 60s with chances of showers and thunderstorms continuing right on in through the early morning hours and very mild on the temperatures before that colder air sits on down into the Mid-South area for right now. And that's going to be about the worst of it for the time being. Again, right now, as of the time we sign off, about 20 past 8, we have no indication of any severe weather in the area. And again, hopefully it'll stay that way. We'll keep an extra eye on things as we go throughout the rest of the evening. I'll have more on News Channel 3 at 10 and, of course, on Daybreak tomorrow morning. And should anything turn severe, we'll let you know about that on air and online as soon as we possibly can so you can be informed as to what's happening. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything in here that you'd like to know about or suggest, again, opportunity to see more. Just all you have to do is send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Best time for anything stronger when it comes to thunderstorms will be late tonight past News Channel 3 at 10, overnight into early Sunday morning. Heavy rainfall, about maybe two to three inches in some areas possible, and gusty winds could be the main threat out there. This is not a huge severe weather outbreak, but it does mean that we need to pay attention to what's going on and make certain you stay informed. Get your batteries changed in your weather radio right now so you're informed in case the power goes out. Make certain your phone's charged. Make certain, again, you're ready to go in case there is severe weather now when nothing is going on is the time to get ready for these storms as they come through the area. And, of course, we'll get you updated on all this coming our way as we go through News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned again for more on that. I'll be live at 10, also at daybreak, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 overnight for more details there. And stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend as the weather experts keep you updated on what's going on in the Mid-South. Thank you for joining us tonight for Weather Overtime, our exclusive online video weather blog, and more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us for this evening's Weather Overtime.